Hey there, Psych2Goers. Have your thoughts been all over the place lately? Is it difficult for you to put a name to your emotions these days? Mental health is not something stagnant. It is versatile and can change throughout the course of your experiences. There will be good days and bad days. What's important is to know that you can always bounce back and there will be people to help you every step of the way. Here are five pieces of mental health advice that you should hear. Number one, work and school breaks matter. Are you often struggling with concentration, grogginess, or strained eyesight? Do you wonder why you're having such a hard time finishing the task at hand? If so, then you really need to take a break. A lot of times when you work continuously, you forget to listen to your body. Research shows that taking breaks while working is essential to productivity. It can improve your energy, motivation, and renew your focus. When you're feeling tired, distracted, or hungry, it calls for a break. When you do things that entertain you and don't remind you of work, you will be even more productive. It's also important to not feel guilty while doing so. You work hard and your body deserves its well-earned rest. Number two, practice having a me time every day. How has your energy been today? Are you more emotional than usual? This act of listening to yourself can help unwind, refocus, and practice a better work-life balance. As simple as pausing to take a deep breath, it can regulate your emotions and take care of your body when it needs to be cared for. Your me time is a period of relaxation and reflection. Your body goes through a lot every single day, and just like cars, it needs tuning too. Harmonize with yourself. Resonate with how you're feeling, no matter if it's an hour, a minute, or a moment. It helps to squeeze it in between your daily tasks. After all, as the pop band McFly said, it's all about you, baby. Number three, take your time to address what has been bothering you. How do you respond when you have a problem? Do you keep it in, rant to others, or find yourself placing the blame on someone else? It is essential to learn to communicate it in a healthy manner. Acknowledging and learning where the conflict is coming from is a good place to start. It's always good to wait and clear your head before dealing with what is bothering you. Drawing, journaling, or talking to someone you trust may let you see the bird's eye view. Putting the blame on others almost always never works out. It helps to calmly explain how you felt about what they did and recommend what they could do to make things better next time. It's crucial not to make them feel forced to do something. Remember that these things will be resolved over time and by dealing with them in a good way, you're helping yourself too. Number four, it's good to be alone and not lonely. Being alone and lonely are two very different things. Being alone means being happy by voluntarily being alone. It means taking yourself on a date or camping alone, just doing things without feeling the need to be with someone else. Scheduling some alone time and enjoying it keeps you away from distractions and helps to focus on new experiences. Experts have found it to help improve your memory, creativity, and independence. When you can be alone with nature, you understand what it truly means to be with yourself. When you value your own presence, you won't need others to do it for you. Instead, you'll see them and treasure them for what they are. And number five, trust the process. Do you know how much you've grown as a person? You may not notice it, but you are developing continuously. You probably aren't the same you were a year ago, and that's because of all the effort and patience you've given. It doesn't matter if you're an artist, a singer, or someone who likes to work out. You've been told time and time again to trust the process. It's a statement that's so easily said, but so hardly followed. When you trust the process, you're signing yourself up for consistency. You're devoting time to your craft and putting in all the work to become someone better than yesterday. At times, frustration may take hold. You could feel like you're at a standstill, that no matter what you do, nothing changes or improves, but it is. You are better, and you are capable of the things that you wanna do. What are some pieces of mental health advice that you go by? Do you feel like we missed something on this list? We appreciate hearing from you, so please don't hesitate to share your stories down below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there who can resonate with this as well. 
Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.